Teflon tape, threaded pipe. Do you know how to put these together so that the pipe won't leak? Let's talk about that today. He is a master plumber. He is a plumbing contractor. He is a plumbing instructor with over 20 years of plumbing experience. He is Plumber Tom. Yeah, Plumber Tom here. Let's talk for a minute about Teflon tape. There are different types of tape. This is the little stuff. It's white half inch, comes in a 520 foot roll or so. This is what I like to use, but that's not the only tape that's available. You can get stuff like this. This is the monster tape. The difference is this stuff is, uh, I don't know, it's blue and it's thicker. You don't have to go around as many times and I think their claim too is that you don't have to use pipe dope. What's pipe dope? Oh yeah, well, pipe dope is thread sealant. Uh, pipe dope is one of those trade terms that plumbers use. This one is my favorite, Mega Lock. They got these cool looking armored guy on it. I like this stuff too. This is the monster thread sealant. Again, in plumbing, we call it pipe dope. The way you can tell uh, which one's best is just by smelling it. That one's still fresh. Just kidding, you don't really need to smell them. So, I like to use this stuff. Now that brings up the question, which one do you put on first? That question is largely left to individual opinion because some plumbers say put the tape on first and then the dope. And some say put the dope on first and then the tape. And the fact is I've tried it both ways and it doesn't seem to make that big of a difference. Uh, there's uh, people out there who are gonna call me out and say I'm wrong. But in general, it's a matter of opinion. So let's talk about how you put this on so that it won't leak. Look into this pipe. You wanna be looking down into the pipe where you're going to be putting it on. Key is clockwise. If you put it on clockwise, the tape, then it won't come off when you're threading on a fitting. If you put it on counterclockwise, then the rotation of the fitting onto the pipe will actually remove the tape that you put on, rendering it useless. So, how do you put it on? Well, let me show you some plumber technique here. My finger is going to be the axle of this little wheel. And this is the quick way to apply Teflon tape onto a pipe, okay? Here's my pipe. And again, I'm going clockwise. I'm going to stick it on here, and then I'm just gonna, I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna stick it on here, and then I'm just gonna spin. Now watch my fingers. Ooh, 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 ooh. Let me get it close so you can see it. Let me slow it down. Well, I probably put like 30. <laughs> I don't know, you can rewind the video and count. I don't know how many times I put it on there, but that's way too much, way, way too much. Let's redo that, okay. Okay, notice here I'm using my thumb and my middle finger intermittently to put pressure against the roll of tape. And this way I can move it around. You know, I, I got pretty quick at it before, so. Back to the question of uh, do you do pipe dope or Teflon tape first? Again, it's a matter of preference. For me, I like to put the pipe dope on first. Well, why do you ask? It's cleaner. It's cleaner to deal with. I, I like to work clean, okay? So we just take it and kind of apply it all the way around to the threads. Now, by the way, you are not supposed to put this stuff inside of the fitting. And the reason for that is if you put it inside the fitting threads, that thread sealant is gonna get pushed into the pipe and actually it just builds up and makes a mess inside, okay? It's not really gonna hurt anything, but it's kind of excessive and it's actually against code, so. So, we put some of that on. And then for me, I'm gonna take this white Teflon tape and wrap it about seven times. Five, six, seven. Why seven? Seven's a lucky number, why not, right? But if you do, with this lighter white tape, if you do it three or two times, it just might not be enough. Now if you do it 10 to 20 times, well, you saw what happened. It's just a big white thing on the end. So for me, it's dope first, then about seven times around, and we're good, right? Now, what about the blue stuff? If I'm using the blue monster, I'm actually just gonna poke a hole in it like that. You see, now it's ready for my finger. And I'll stick it on, and the blue, 
About three times is good. Let's see how that looks. It almost looks like it's uh, doped and taped already, right? Uh, the reason we go less with this is because it's thicker. It doesn't need as many times around. Warning, if you put pipe dope on and then this tape, sometimes the thicker tape will spin with it. The dope won't get that tape down in the threads and you'll watch the tape spinning. Now, once again, these are a matter of opinion. And the real question that you might ask yourself is, how much do I like taking this apart after I've threaded it together because it's leaking? If you're into that and think it's fun to do things twice, then you could do it like once or twice around with no pipe dope, and you could take it apart. But if you're like me and you don't want to do things more than once, then I recommend you follow what I've demonstrated here. Put some pipe dope on it six or seven times around with the white, two or three times around with the blue, the thicker stuff, and away you go. Now you're gonna to wanna to make sure to get tools on here and tighten it in thoroughly. Lastly, just for credibility, look what I can do. Yeah. Let's see if you can practice that one. If you can do that, then you're a pro. Thank you for watching Plumber Tom. Be sure to like and subscribe.